Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I think I'm gonna do another solo commentary today about the time I went skydiving, which was literally like less than a week ago because I turned, I just fell in the void because I turned 18. Um, and on my 18th birthday, I went skydiving and it was pretty damn fun. I figured I'd share the story with you guys. Um, I didn't like vlog it or anything because I don't want to, you know, like uh, reveal any information that shouldn't be out there. Um, but uh, it was a lot of fun and I hope you guys enjoy and subscribe if you like these kind of stories. And let me know if, down in the comments if you want uh, more like it because I can definitely do uh, videos like this because they're a lot of fun to record. Now on the way there and on the days leading up to the, uh, the actual skydive, I wasn't even that nervous. I like booked the reservation thing. I was I was driving on my way there and I thought like at least like, you know, when I got there, the nerves would finally kick in. But I just like wasn't very nervous for it. I was just like, yeah, I'm going to jump out of a fully functional plane. Um, and I really didn't think much of it for some reason. I don't know why, but literally while I'm there, like the whole time, I basically didn't have any nerves about it. I wasn't very nervous. Um, I was just like, yeah, I'm going to go do that. Uh, so when I got there, right, I get there and I've already booked, so I'm good to go. Uh, I just need to like check in. And uh, when I check in, they're just like, they say to me, they say, uh, do you want to pay $20 to go, uh, like double your free fall time? And I'm like, oh dear God. And there's people around me signing up. Right, so so there's someone behind me that's gonna be flying with me, right? I don't want to embarrass myself, so I say, oh yeah, I'll, I'll definitely pay to double my free fall time. So I'm tw I, I paid twenty more dollars on top of like the freaking three hundred dollars that it costs to skydive, right? And this is my own money. I'm I am hurting in the pockets, um, but basically, I pay the extra to go up higher, which is I'm already shitting bricks about that, and then. This guy comes out, okay? We we wait like a half an hour after we're supposed to get there, and this dude comes out of the fucking woodwork, okay? He, he's he's in the back. He comes out of this door, and he, and he goes, and he plays a video for us, and it's like this instruction video. It's super boring. That guy just hit me while he wasn't looking at me. The video that he's playing is super boring. It's just like, hey, uh, you know, you gotta, you gotta do this if you don't want to die, that kind of thing. Um, and so we listen to it. He turns off the TV, and then he starts talking. He's like, so did you guys enjoy the video? This dude is like the most Russian person I have ever met in the world. He he is has the thickest accent. I can barely understand him. And I'm like, dude, I'm gonna have to take instruction from this guy. So there are like seven people in our group, and all of us are just trying to understand what this guy is saying. But eventually, um, we get <laughs> we get ready to go. And I'm in the second group of people skydiving. So there are seven people in our group, and uh, I was actually supposed to go with one of my friends. So it was supposed to be eight people, but uh, he pussied out, um, which is really unfortunate. But I still went. I'm like, fuck it. I'll still go on my own. Um, it'll be a lot of fun. So there were seven people in our group uh, reserved to skydive at the time, and they could only take up like four people at a time, or they only wanted to, I guess. Uh, so I was in the second group with two other people, and the two other people that were going to go skydiving with me um, were like two middle-aged dudes. They were like 50. Well, take KB, sir. So these are like 50 years old, and and they're they, one of them had already gone before, and one of them it was their first time. So I was just kind of hanging out with the dude that was going for the first time. We were just like, oh, I wonder what it's going to be like. But you know, I, I still wasn't nervous up to this point. Uh, and we gotta wait a long time because we are the second uh, the second group of people. We gotta wait for one plane to come all the way up, go all the way up, drop off the flyers, and come all the way down to come pick us up. And it was like a 45 minute wait just to go fucking skydiving okay and i knew it was gonna take a long time but i'm like man i'm gonna be here for a while um so then we get into the plane and uh we're going up there and, and the middle aged dudes get in the plane first which like okay that's fine i don't really care but what that means is that i get in last and the way that the plane works is if you get in last you're jumping out first and i didn't even think about that when i got into the plane so i get and i sit down in the plane, by the way, this is just a plane with carpet on it, on the floor, okay? This plane is very much not secure when you're sitting in it. Um, and you could literally fall out at any time. But, um, I'm not secured, and, and the person that I'm gonna be skydiving with, which is one of the instructors, right? Because it's called a tandem skydive, where they, uh, you're linked with other people. Uh, he's sitting right next to me, but he's not secured either. And... <laughs> All of a sudden, he tells me to stick my leg out of the plane. This The plane isn't moving yet, right? So I'm like, oh, yeah, let me just stick the leg out of the plane. The, the Let me set the picture real quick. The plane is is very small, okay? And there's, like, a big uh, – there's a bit of an area for people to be in. And there's a giant, like, door, which doesn't actually have a door on it. That is just open air um, that they have – they have, like, a cover-up for it that they put in there, uh, like, halfway through going up. But my leg is out of the plane as they're starting up the engine. Like, actually just laying out, and I'm not secured at all. And I'm just, like, with my leg out of this plane. It was the, I'm sorry if this isn't making any sense, but 
holy shit. Like, so I'm sitting with my leg out of this plane as we're starting it up. And we start going fast because, you know, the plane's got to take off. And I'm, I'm sitting here like, is anybody going to tell me to take my leg out of the plane? Because my instructor's leg was out there too. And he was just chilling. I'm like, I'm like kind of freaking out. This is the most, the most nerves I've felt this whole time. And it's not even the actual skydive. It's pre-skydive. And we literally go up in the air going fucking Mach 12 with my leg out of this. And I'm like, fall because we're going up. We're going like straight. It feels like straight up. Obviously, it wasn't. But, you know, we're going up at a good angle. And I'm like sliding down. And I feel like I'm about to fall out of the plane. And my leg's still hanging out until we're up like 2,000 feet. And then my instructor's like, all right. Take your leg out, and then he puts over this, like, little window thing that, that comes down, and finally I'm, like, not having my leg out of the plane. So we're going up, and we are going up fast, which means, like, your ears pop, because, um, you know, the pressure up there is way different than it is on ground level. If you guys have never been in, if you guys have ever been in, like, an airplane, and, like, your ears start to hurt as it uh, ascends, that's kind of the same thing. But my ears were hurting, like, quite a bit on the way up there, and I'm like, that's fine, I'm, you know, I, I, I should have expected that. But we're going up so fucking high, and we go up above the clouds, and the view is so beautiful. Like, I, don't, I can't even explain to you how beautiful this view is. If you're ever up, like, super high, and there weren't a lot of clouds on this day, so you could see, like, almost the entire ground. And it was just the most beautiful thing in the world. Just to be able to see, like, <laughs> your entire state from the sky is kind of surreal, and it, it didn't really click for me for a while. Oh, I just got absolutely combo to shit. Um, but we finally get up to the height that we are scheduled to go out at. And again, I'm the first one out of the plane uh, with, you know, uh, strapped along to my instructor. So this entire time I haven't been attached to my instructor. And finally, he attaches himself to me, uh, which felt like much more relieving. You know, I felt like, oh, finally, you know, I'm not in my own, con the own control of my life, which should have been like more nerve wracking for me because I didn't have any control. But you know, this dude had like experience doing, jumping out of planes, all that stuff. Um, so I felt pretty safe at this point, but as he opened, as he took off this, uh, like, shield covering the door, um, and we are going, we are literally two and a half miles above the sky, going, about to jump out of a plane with, with only a parachute to stop us from imminent death, it kind of hits me at that point, I'm like, oh my god, I'm actually about to jump out of a plane, uh, wow, and I'm staring, I'm sitting out of this plane, with both of my legs out, ready to jump, and I look down, and it fucking hits me, and I'm scared as hell, I'm like, oh my god, I'm so high up. And before I even, I barely have a chance to think about it, before my instructor's like, go! And this motherfucker shoves me out of a plane with me with him, and all of a sudden, I'm free-falling through the sky. And that feeling was insane. It was, oh my god, it was, it was crazy. So I'm falling down <laughs> towards the center of the earth, and... I, I'm like screaming, I'm opening my mouth, which was honestly one of the biggest mistakes of my life, because if you guys have ever been free-falling ever, and you open your mouth, your mouth is the dr so dry, because all of the air is just flying up into your mouth, and you cannot produce enough, like, you know, moisture in your mouth to keep your mouth going, and oh my god, my mouth got so dry, and I'm like trying to like moisten my mouth while free fall. it's just not working, I just had to suffer. Another thing that was terrible about it, not really terrible, but, you know, a negative about it was, dude, my ears just started hurting so fucking bad. And I was trying to, like, yawn, because that's kind of what you do. I just said yawn, and now I'm yawning. Oh, fuck. <sighs> okay. Um, so, yawning basically helps equalize the pressure in your ears. And I was trying to do that during our, uh, dur during the skydive, and it wasn't working. I was still just hurting so badly. Uh, and eventually, you know, we're free-falling for, like, a minute and a half. And it is just insane. I can't even explain to you how crazy it was. Just... Falling and getting faster and faster and faster. We're going like 120, 180 miles an hour. Um, it was one of the most surreal experiences of my life. Yeah, this guy's not going to enjoy this game. I'm sorry, bro. Monkey Dude 322, you are not going to have any fun, okay? Oh my god! <laughs> um, and then, finally, as we're going down to the ground, and we're getting kind of close, I'm like, okay, we should pull the chute now. Okay, we should pull the chute. And I was getting, like, kind of nervous because we were getting kind of close. But, you know, it wasn't that close. It was only, like, I don't know. I don't even know how to estimate, like, 3,000 feet or something. Pulls the parachute. And, oh, my God, it felt like I got hit by a bus when the parachute came out, bro. It literally, you go from, like, <laughs> you go from 120 miles an hour to, like, 40. Like, pretty damn fast. So, that is not an enjoyable experience, especially when you're in a harness and, and like, you know, it doesn't, the harness is, is holding on to your body in places that don't feel good to get tugged on. Uh, or like, you know, uh, just absolutely smashed. Um, my nuts were not feeling the greatest at that time. It kind of felt like all of the pressure of that just went to my nuts. 
Um, and it, it didn't feel very good. So I'm just like, can you imagine falling a hundred for like 120 seconds at 180 miles an hour, and then your balls just get hit by a bus? You're not gonna feel the best after that, so, <laughs> as you're falling down with a parachute, going like 40 miles an hour, mind you. Um, you're not gonna feel the best in the world. That's just not gonna be your tip top shape, you know. So I'm just like gasping for air. I'm trying to <laughs> re moisten my mouth and I'm trying to yawn all at the same time. Also, just like <laughs> I trying to have a moment of silence for my lost kids that inevitably happened during that skydive. Um, and so all of that is happening while I'm just like taking in the view, which is still um, like beautiful. And since you're only you're not really moving that fast down to the ground, you can like actually start to enjoy it. I guess 40 miles an hour going down is very much an hour. It was like 10 miles an hour down. It was very slow and very relaxing. Um, so we're on the way down, and we're just kind of talking, me and this instructor. You know, he's, like, telling a story about one time he lost his shoe um, and had to, like, go retrieve it. And as we're parachuting down, um, he pulls the parachute, like, fully in one direction, which basically means you're supposed to rotate, right? So I rotate off to the left. And not rotate. I'm talking, like, you, you literally just go in one direction. And... If you are holding it all the way off to one side, you go completely parallel to the ground, which is one of, like almost as surreal as the free fall, where you are like completely like head to, head and toes are in the same position facing the ground, and it feels so weird. I'm just gonna bow combo you if you don't mind. Hello? Okay. Um, I thought I clicked him, but I guess not. And it, I I did that a lot, and he literally gives you. He gave me, like, the control of the parachute, and I was able to actually, like, direct where we were going and be parallel to the ground by my own doing, which is, honestly, if this isn't making sense what I'm saying, it's because it is so hard to describe. It is, it is one of the coolest things in the world that I've done. Um, and then slowly, um, we land to the ground, and literally the landing, you, you expect, you know, you hear in stories about how you have to hit the ground running? Bro, we land like a feather. Like, we pretty much just touch down. And we're stopped. We were not coming in at any sort of fucking velocity, and it was, it was so nice. Um, but like I, <laughs> during the entire time of the parachute, my mouth is still dry, and even when I land, I'm just like still feeling it. I was like, dude, ha, I need water, bro. Like it, it was crazy how much, like how dry my mouth was. That's like the only feeling that I remember besides like you know the visuals um, on the way down. But man, that it was one of the coolest experiences of my life, and uh, it was on my 18th birthday. And it, it was just a lot of fun, you know? I, I had a great time. I also went gambling that night, which is going to be a uh, stream highlights. Probably my next video is going to be me telling me the story uh, on stream. So if you guys want to listen to my gambling story on how I uh, robbed the casino, basically. Um, <laughs> go ahead and follow my Twitch down in the description. Uh, it's going to be a great time. And if you don't want to, stream highlights will be out soon. But it's a lot of fun being there live. So uh, I will see you guys later. Have a great rest of your day. Hope you enjoy. Subscribe if you like. Uh, don't if you didn't, I guess. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.